y'all, it's American Mum on the Southern Mum channel. Today I want to announce the grand prize winner that chose the name of this wonderful, spooky, terrorizing polar bear from the show Lost. Um, we've had this contest going on for a few days now. It was really a hard decision. It really was. Um, this little guy is going to stay up on the shelf with the other lost paraphernalia and some of the other show stuff. But um, yeah, I'm going to announce the winner right now. Okay. I want to give a big shout out to Eduardo Torres. But he suggested the name Ghost. He suggested a lot of names, and a lot of y'all put in more than just one, you know, name for me to choose from. And they were all really good. Like, y'all really thought about them. But Ghost just, it just felt right. And it's also a little bit of a tie-in from Game of Thrones, Ghost. So when I'm reacting and the, the polar bear in Lost is terrorizing or running by or doing anything, I don't have to call him bear or polar bear anymore. His name is going to be Ghost. So thank you, Eduardo, for naming our polar bear for Lost. Okay, Eduardo, what I'd like for you to do, this is your little extra special something something. I want you to go on my American Mom channel and go to the homepage. And at the top, there's videos, playlists, discussion, things like that. Go to where it says about, and once you click on that, underneath there is a send message option. I want you to send me a private message, and then you and I will converse about what um, your other winnings will be. It's not money, I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry. But no, it's just going to be some fun things that, um, that you and I can discuss and keep in touch and hopefully, you know, it'll be fun. Thank you so much to everyone that participated. But from now on, the polar bear on Lost, his name on this channel will be Ghost. Love it. Okay, now y'all enjoy the next Lost episode. Bye. Hey y'all, it's American Mom on the Southern Mom channel. Today is Monday and we're going to be watching Lost. This is episode 19 and I don't know how to pronounce this episode. Do ex machina? Something like that. I don't know what it means, but I'm sure I'll find out. Uh, I got my Hurley episode last time, and so I think I have everybody's, like, backstory, like, original, you know. I know it'll build, but I think I have everybody's that's the main character right now. I know a little something about them now, so we're good to go. So I don't know who we're going to be talking about today, but I'm very excited. All right, so let's get started, and let's do this. Piece by piece, it all comes together. He has and then hair. The your opponent okay. lands here on the old cheese wheel, and then if you set it up just right, you spring the trap. Go ahead, Go ahead, kiddo. Did it break it? Did he break it? This was supposed to work. You like, man. What? I think you're supposed to leave that in. I've talked about this. You didn't feel it? You're not gonna lose this. His legs again, is he? 
What happens? What if it doesn't? Then the island will tell us what to do. What's that? Oh, is that what happens? Oh. Please. Why are you following me? I'm sorry. Who are you? I'm your mother. I want to tell you that you're special. Very special. You're part of a design. You do realize that, don't you? That our meeting, me finding you, this is a sign of things to come. Great things. Like what? He is special. My father. Is he still alive? Still alive? Oh, John. Don't you understand? You don't have a father. You were immaculately conceived. Okay, so she's crazy. But we will open it. The island will show us how. What kind of sign will the island send us? Huh, John? Why? Did you see that? Yeah. Boom. What's happened? Teresa falls up the stairs. Teresa falls down the stairs. Teresa falls up the stairs. Teresa falls down the stairs. Teresa falls up the no. stairs. Teresa falls no. down the stairs. No, don't take it back. I'm just leaving him. Oh, God, that was freaky. I don't like it. Okay, John. She was institutionalized a few times. What for? Nothing criminal or violent. It's a type of schizophrenia. Apparently, if she stays on her meds, she's okay. This stuff isn't meant to be, even though it may feel that way that this probably won't have a happy ending. Great. I'm ready. So, do you want it or not? I want it. Thank you for seeing me, sir. I'm, uh, John. Something tells me I'm gonna want a drink for this. You want a drink? Okay. Uh, yeah. I didn't even know you existed until a year after you were born. She told me she wasn't even going to have the baby, did you, at all. And she drops off the face of the planet. When she turns up again, she's asking me for money, telling me she put you up for adoption. What are you doing this Sunday? Nothing. You want to go hunting? <laughs> uh, I'd like that. Yeah, yeah, I'd like that very much. I know where to go now. Go for what? Find what we need to open this bastard up. Have you been using that wacky paste stuff that made me see my sister get eaten? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, yeah, What's yeah, that, yeah, yeah. Oh, don't you get your yeah, man, I know. Now, now, now. Pick it up on a little Korean there, Michael? Yeah. Pretty sure I know how to say, uh, faster and idiot. <laughs> so in this dream, you saw a plane crash, right? Yeah. OK. The fact that we were all just in a plane crash, you didn't think for one second. Oh. John, you OK? I'm fine. Legs. Where do you think it came from? A priest. Him. My kidney's failing. Damn doctors say I need a transplant. When? Tomorrow, if it were up to me. He's going to give him the a kidney. Miss. What is a Nigerian priest doing in an island in the South Pacific? I'm so sure he's a priest. And have you ever contracted a sexually transmitted disease? I'm going to take that as another yes. When was the last outbreak? Go to hell, Doc. I know he deserved it, but... He needs glasses. I was in that chair when we took off, but not after we crashed. 
Why were you in a wheelchair? Doesn't matter anymore. No, what but happened? This island, it changed me. It made me whole. Now it's trying to take it back, and I don't know why. But it wants me to follow what I saw. Let's find your bird. I thought he said his dad wasn't a good guy. What? Oh my gosh. They found it. You can still change your I knew mind. he was going to do this. They already shaved my back. <laughs> I'm so thankful for you, John. This was meant to be. What is that? You're farsighted. Farsighted. Yeah. It can develop later in life, especially when you add a new strain to the eyes, like with reading. Har har, very funny. Dude. Did they really? Looks like someone's team ruled Harry Potter. <laughs> You love this, don't you? Mm-hmm. Oh, God, he gonna get in it, and then it's gonna fall? Here's your sign. Come on. <gasps> Boom! Boom, get out! Hello? Hello? Anybody out there? Mayday, mayday! Boom, there's no time! Get out now! checked out this afternoon he went back home he's under private care that doesn't make any what i'm sorry john what, what are you doing here i needed some money he's always been good that way your father's always been generous you told me i didn't have a father well, he said that was the only way you would give it to him. It had to be your idea. He told me where to find you. He, he asked me to go see you. I wanted to see you. He's definitely this whole time. This can't be happening. <laughs> he w wouldn't do this to me. Yeah, he's not a nice man. Just looking at him. I know you're watching me. That was a lot to take in. Like, 
all at once. Kah, his dad is shitty. Knew where he was, knew where he worked, sent the mom there. Was she really crazy? I know she was meant to say that, like, I don't, like you don't have a father or something like that. But, and she set everything up, but is, was she really crazy? Because she wasn't in his life either, but she needed money. He needed a kidney. So this was the time for him to send the mom out to go find Locke. Nice. He was better off with neither one of them getting involved in his life. <sighs> Boy, um, the whole plane thing, that was in a dream of his. And he saw Boone bloody and repeating about his nanny. So of course Boone believed him and they went and found the plane there's drugs in the plane, but he also was talking to somebody on that radio, unless that was in his mind and he didn't get through to anybody. That was weird. But at the end, that hatch, that glass they can't break, like he was so upset. Um, I thought maybe, too, let me go back after the surgery happened and then we kind of found out what happened like he, they were like he checked out I was like he's obviously fine he's going home to recuperate and Locke's not gonna be able to move his leg something went wrong with him with the surgery and that's how he got paralyzed but then he got in the car and was driving so that's not what did it and then at the end, he was crying and banging on the hatch and just really upset. And then a light comes on. What? They can't get in, but something's in there. I think we've all known up until now, from the beginning of Lost up until now, we know Locke is special. But... The island speaks to him. He knows a lot of things. He's got a he's got a big backstory. We got to dive into more. Yeah. <laughs> it was a good episode though. I still don't know what the title had to do with any of it. It probably means something. Is that Is that is that is that French for something? I don't know. I love the show. I really do. All right. I am ready to see the next episode. All right. Thank you all for watching this with me. And until the next video and the next time.